To my soulmate, I'm so honored to be here with you today. I couldn't have dreamed or wished for a man as incredible as you are to spend my life with. Incredible doesn't even begin to describe what a remarkable man you are. To my sweetheart, Kayla, today has finally arrived. Sunday, March 26, we will never forget as our day of becoming one. A day unlike any other there has ever been or will ever be for us. We fell in love so hard and so fast and scared both of us. We have been hurt before and didn't want to get hurt again. So we did the right thing, we took it slow, got to know each other. I fell in love with you right away at that bar that night in Tempe at Crate. You didn't know it yet and neither did I, but I kept coming back to you, like though my heart found you before my mind. And all I want to do is make you the happiest man in the world. And I promise to never forget that. I wish I would have met you sooner so I could have loved you longer. But I cherish the past five years together and all of our years to come. I cherish what an amazing man you are. You're charming, smart, sexy, sweet, thoughtful, funny, and handsome. Of course, good-hearted. Love is just a word until someone comes along and gives it a meaning, and you have given me that. Kayla, you allow me to see things with your light in a different focus. You have taught me kindness, generosity, and patience. I promise to laugh with you and comfort you for eternity. I promise to grow with you and love you truly. My best friend, I promise to never stop trying. I promise your father many things as well. I promised him to be your best friend and to make his daughter happy for the rest of her life. I told him I will forever watch over you, protect you, and love you until my final breath. Steve is with us today. He is beside you right now, near your chair, with his hand on your shoulder as you read this. With his wings, he no longer needs to walk and will be with you walking down the aisle. You know that I'm not perfect, but you make me feel perfect and beautiful in every way. Thank you. I love you. I can't wait to see you. Always future Mrs. Roth. XO, XO, XO. I hope to provide you everything that this amazing world has to offer, whether it be the sand between your toes on the beaches in Hawaii or the Starbucks we're both craving for our Saturday jump start for the weekend. I am madly in love with you, and today with my heart finally full, ready to give you all that I am. I am now wiser and able to grow with you in ways I never thought possible. I am truly ready to become your man and your anchor in this journey we call life. I am so excited to become your husband and call you my wife, my one and only. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Brandon 
a Christian bride. It is my great honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Rock. I've been able to watch you guys throughout the last couple of years. And you always find a way to surprise me about how close you guys always are, about how much you both care for one another. I never really had a sister growing up, but now I have three, and I'm happy to call them my family. And I love them. I love you both so much, and we are so happy you're in our family. Shannon, Kathy, Carla, as well. We love you all. I am so proud of you. Yeah, bottom of my heart. Me being so, I don't want to say it, uh, impressed, happy, very emotional. I used to be strong. <laughs> And now, I cry a lot. <laughs> He's not perfect and neither are you. The two of you will never be perfect, but if he can make you laugh at least once, cause you to think twice, and admits he, that he's human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most that you can. I read somewhere once that love is a friendship that is caught fire. May your fire stay strong, burn bright, and be filled with love and laughter for many years to come.